Director. So, uh, so Keith is in charge out here. He's going to give us our orientation and official rules and all that kind of stuff uh, that we will obey with our time here. Keith. All right, welcome to Rancho Marino. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard too much about the reserve system. I imagine. A little bit, a little bit. We'll, we'll talk more tonight about it. Okay, we're run by the UC system, and uh, we are one of those 40, 41s. They're all vastly different. They all have different habitats and everything else. They're spread from all the way up in Mount Lassen, all the way down to the deserts. Um, and so you have pretty much every different habitat type that you could want to study is actually protected by the UC system. That was um, Kenneth Norris, where, who is this place is named after, uh, was a professor and he was doing research um, down in San Bernardino area, San Bernardino area, and his research sites started getting strip malls and buildings and everything built on top of them. And so in like the 65-ish, he re realized that hey, this litter is up. Uh, but just real quick uh, before we start going here, we just walked through this this field, right? This was tilled and or grazed for the last hundred years, basically. Um, more on that later. So we have this coastal prairie, this coastal grassland. We have the pine, Monterey pine stand behind us, one of only three remnant ones. There's one up by Monterey, there's one down in San Diego. This is, Monterey pine is one of the most widely planted plant trees around the world. So, uh, planted heavily in Australia, New Zealand, and different parts of the world primarily for pulp so this plant is not going to it's not going to go extinct anytime soon but as far as the natural genetics the natural population diversity it's one of three remnant the bench is something that's attached and does not roll so we're going to go down here um, we'll see things like the giant bulk kelp you see all those big stipes down there that also is where we are but is not nowhere near as abundant as it is in this part of the california coast so as you look here, we have sort of the high intertidal. You can see the rack deposited right up near the bottom of the slope, toe of the slope. Then we have sort of a, a sort of upper intertidal. Then we get to some of the fleshy algae. Then as we go down lower and lower, we get more wet things, right? So the stuff that can handle more desiccation is going to be up top. Stuff that can handle less is going to be down low. Like that. So this guy's about 3.8 or so. Yeah. Right. They get big. Uh, they'll get yeah, bigger than that. Oh, they can get a lot bigger. They can. We have this algal tuft uh, around it, and so she's going to be moving around. So this is her home scar. This is her home scar, and um, she's going to be going here. And so there's there's little teeny like diatomaceous growth and, and, and unicellular algae and stuff on here. So she's going to be cruising around and munching on all these all these. Uh, the, this this is her farm. This is her algal farm, basically. So she'll go all around like where Jack's foot is and over here to the edge and everything. But this is sort of her jam. So this is her place. And if any other limpets come in here, she's so big. So there's one little scab. There's, there, there's a couple actually. Okay, so there's a little teeny guy here. There's some guys on the edge. But if these guys come in, so that's a classic example of a, of a owl limpet uh, home scar. Perfect place on top of the rock. Although a lot of times they like to be down here on the side that washes down the streams but the majority of it is going to be this kind of stuff so this is and so we look at this and we see all these kelp flies and some people go like, yeah, yeah, whatever. but this is the base of this food web right so this is going to feed all these other critters the birds etc so this is going to promote a really diverse so so the single best predictor of the in fauna on sandy beaches is do we have a lot of rack there or not so places like this you leave it. State California State Beaches, we leave it. But in much of our urbanized area, it's it's considered a nuisance. So first and foremost, people see these flies. This is actually really good lighting with, to see these guys. Anyways, I want to thank the ESM 462 class, I want to thank Sean Anderson, and I want to thank Keith, the director at the Rancho Marina Reserve for this amazing experience. 
Thank you so much, guys.